Hey, Zach with the EC Master here. Uh, today we're gonna talk about one of my favorite products. This is the PMU 16. Uh, PMU stands for Power Management Unit. Uh, 16 is the number of outputs it has. Um, so a power management unit replaces all of the fuses and relays in a vehicle. Uh, the beauty of that is that one 16 relays and fuses takes up a ton of space. You've got two to four connections per fuse and relay. They can be prone to problems with temperature and vibration, especially moisture. Um, again, they're just they're not ideal in a race car that's going to see vibration or high stress or a space limited. Um, and also, that's not even getting into any of the, the cool features you can use with all the logic operators and control strategies in the PMU-16 itself. So I'll unbox it. We'll talk about the, the physical aspects of the device first, and then I'll get more into the control side. Uh, here's the box, warranty card. We do include a connector and terminals with every PMU-16. Here's the device itself. Beautiful CNC case. Uh, so the case actually acts as a heat sink. These do uh, give off a little bit of heat, so it's best to mount it somewhere where it can shed the heat. Uh, back it up to a metal panel if you can, or if you're gonna use it in a higher temperature environment, there are actually three temperature sensors on the board itself. You can monitor temperatures and make sure you're not overloading it. If you're overloading one side, you can watch the temps and move outputs and balance it side to side, make sure the load's balanced and you're not overheating one particular area. Uh, it does have three nice mounting points here. You can fit an M6 bolt through all three of those. You get another M6 stud for the power input from the battery. And the, the packaging is really, really tight on these. Very, very small, very compact. They're rated to 150 amps continuous, which is really a lot for this form factor. Uh, and that is 10 25 amp outputs and six 15 amp outputs. Um, all outputs can be pulse width modulated, meaning you can pulse them on and off. So if you need to soft start a fan that draws a lot of current at startup, you can actually ramp that up and limit the initial spike of current so you're not overloading your system. Um, you can pair up to three outputs together. So if you have to drive a device that requires 75 amps continuous, you can use three of the 25 amp outputs paired together. Um, and those do have special terminals that we had made that are made out of a material that withstands the current and temperatures you're gonna see at that point. You've got 16 uh, status output indicators here. So these are multicolor LEDs. This one's the device status, and then you've got the 16 output status. And these change colors to indicate whether the channel is on off or if there's a fault with it, which is really, really handy if you've got a car, if you have a problem real quick, let's say you don't have an ADU dash, you can't display the error message on the dash, you can just simply look at the device in the pits and see if there's a problem with that channel. So really handy for diagnostics without having to break out the laptop and, and look at it. Getting further into unboxing here. Let's pull this tray out. So you get all the terminals for it. So you've got small terminals, large terminals, some are rated for the higher current terminals. Um, those are important. It does have 16 analog inputs as well, uh, two CAN bus networks. Analog inputs you can use, if you don't want to use one of our CAN bus keypads, like this color keypad right here, you can use just regular traditional analog switches to turn channels on and off. So we're not forcing you to use one of our CAN bus keypads, even though they are really, really handy. So that's all the terminals. To give you a nice little PMU 16 keychain, it's molded to look like the PMU. Uh, here's a protective cover for the power stud on the device. And one of my favorite things that, that's really handy is the actual wiring diagram torque spec for the stud. You gotta be careful, it's, it's actually a brass stud for the power input, so um, very little torque required. And we give you a torque spec for that. And then you have the pin out for the device. Uh, what I like to do, you know, if, if I'm doing a quick install on a vehicle, I'll just use Sharpie and write straight on the laminated card. That way it's a nice reference. You toss it in the car, toss it in the folder or the logbook for it. You got your documentation on hand. Um, from the control side, that's really where the PMU-16 shines. Uh, so it can communicate with other devices via CAN bus. Um, it's programmed via CAN, so you'd use our USB to CAN adapter um, to wire in. And if you don't have a USB to CAN adapter, if you're using your shop that has one, once you program the device, you really don't need to use it unless you need to make changes, so you don't need to leave that in the car. Um, and CAN bus is just like a local network. It's like plugging in your, your computer to a network uh, at the office or at school. And so you can connect it to other devices. You can run one PMU in the front, one in the rear of the car, tie them to the ECU, the dash, anything that needs to send data back and forth. Um, so what you can do, you can receive like engine coolant temp and use this to soft start the fans at a certain temp, turn them off over a certain vehicle speed if they're just gonna produce drag at that point. Um, you can stage multiple fuel pumps and build all kinds of logic operators and strategies with that. This does wiper control with braking. It also has strategies programmed in for blinkers, uh, for your turn signals. Um, you can set up almost any function you want. So when I get into a race car personally, 
I want it as simple as possible. I don't want to get in and hit 12 switches and do my pre-start checklist. I want to get in, hit the big red button and go. So you can have this control the starter. You can have it control your fans, your fuel pumps. Um, there's an accelerometer on board. So it actually acts as an inertial switch. If you get into a, a collision, you can have this turn off all the circuits in the car. So you're not sitting there on the roof of your rally car with the fuel pump still running if you ruptured a fuel line. It's a huge safety feature there. Um, again, you can make this do everything that the driver doesn't need to be thinking about in terms of controlling things. Uh, if there is a fault with a circuit, you can tell the PMU to restart the circuit, to retry, to wait, to turn on an alternate circuit if you have a redundant fuel or ignition system. Um, we have a lot of off-road racers that do that. They'll have two systems for everything. And this, you could be going over and over whoops in the desert and in five milliseconds or less, it's gonna turn on that backup system the driver doesn't even need to know unless you wanna send them a warning on the dash. Um, so again, huge amount of functionality here, huge amount of reliability, so many less moving components. The number of connections and terminations is so far reduced from using fuses and relays. So, um, you know, some people do get sticker shock. This one's 1349. If you look at other power management units, that's really affordable. There's nothing anywhere close in price that actually has full functionality. Um, and we have functionality that some units twice the price don't have. And then when you look at your labor costs, it might save you 10 hours of terminating relays and fuses in a race car. If you're paying your guy hundred bucks an hour, this pays for itself. And then you get all the functionality and reliability added. Um, so again, a awesome addition to any race car. Um, I like to put at least one of them in every build I do, sometimes two if the car's complex enough. Um, and it really shortens up your wiring runs to have two main points front and rear in a more complex vehicle. Um, anyway, one of my favorite devices, that's the PMU-16 from EC Master.